Howdy, howdy, my name is Good Guy, Mike, welcome to my YouTube channel, welcome to more Subnautica! So, today, 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 so, what are we doing today? Welp, I, uh, as you can see, my base is huge, gigantic, large, we've done so much stuff. At this point, I've sunk probably 20 hours into this save alone. I have more quartz than I know what to do with, I have, like, two CMOTs. I've hit that point where I've kind of stagnated in the game, and I, uh, I kind of want to start over. So, what I was thinking is I would start a new save where I would actually categorically film everything, literally everything that I do, upload everything to the channel, we'll shoot it in 20 minute episodes, and uh, if there's enough interest in that, we'll keep doing it, we'll start over again every time there's an update, because it has been a while since I've ran into a game that I am this passionate about. So, I am pumped, we're gonna go ahead and start all over again, and uh, this episode's gonna be a little bit longer because we have the, uh, um, we have, uh, like this little intro part, but yeah, go ahead, say goodbye to Waterbase Alpha. It has been lots of fun, but, uh, it is time to start a new world. Let's do this. All right, holy cow, we're back at a brand new place, and it feels bizarre. It feels bizarre not having all the stuff that I had before. Um, so we got one power cell, one flare, one glass, one copper wire. Good, with that, we can change the world. We can modify the world into what we want to do, so we need to get, like, right into the game. Uh, it's gonna be weird getting, like, right in. Oh, wow, look at that. There's a nice little conch. So, what do I hope to accomplish in my first 20 minutes of gameplay? Well, uh, obviously the first thing we need to do is get it, um, a few tanks so that, um, we can not drown while we're in the water. But I think that, uh, we could probably stockpile enough, uh, metal and, uh, quartz that we could probably start building our own base by the end of 20 minutes. Of course, you know, it's it's always uh, it's always a kind of a toss-up, a crapshoot, but um, I think, you know, I think I know the game well enough at this point that um, I, uh, I think we could possibly do it. Okay, so that should be enough quartz to um, make some glass and some metal, so, or um, some glass and some tanks so that I can make uh, an air tank. But, um, boy, it feels so, it's just crazy feeling because I got to the point where I, uh, you know, I had a rebreather, I had the modifier, so I had, um, th like three, um, air tanks. I was going all the way down to the Great Reef, like 400, 500 meters under the sea. And, um, come here, you peep. I had the, like, the quickest, um, I had the quickest fins in the, in the game, so. It just feels, uh, feels weird, but it feels good, like, starting over again. Sometimes you need to hit it from a different perspective and really challenge yourself and see how much you can, uh, um, make. So we're gonna go ahead and make some glass real quick. Because it takes, uh, it takes two titanium and a glass, I believe, to make an air tank. See, it's one of those things, yeah, see, oh, it's one titanium and glass. Oh, man, we're gonna have so many air tanks. Okay, resource, one more glass. We're gonna go ahead and, like, start immediately storing things. Um... The first thing we need to get is the one of the hardest things we're gonna get is the uh, the building tool because we need silver to make that and silver of course you have to go to the um, uh, what do you call it the uh, uh, creeper fields uh, to to get that which is gonna be a bit of a pain in the ass but um, oh sorry it's, it's I swore I saw I said it no no ah, mark it on the calendar good guy Mike swore but okay so we need two silicon rubber next let's go ahead and store the rest of our stuff in here. Um, it, uh, wow, it actually, it feels super bizarre, like, um, uh, starting all over again, you know, because it's, it's been, it's been so long since I, I started out with, uh, you know, um, this, uh, I keep saying that, I feel like a broken record, but I, it's gonna be good, um, like I said, they, uh, they, they keep updating this game, and it's at that point where they're starting to update it more frequently, and this game's, you know, the game is honestly over a year old, but, uh, it's, it's finally at that point where I feel comfortable enough to make big series off of it because there's actually enough to do in it. Um, originally, you know, it was one of those games where you played it for uh, a couple hours and then you were like, oh man, like, you know, there's a few like cell setting goals that I could do, but, um, you know, honestly, more of a pain in the butt than, uh, than it was fun. But now they have, uh, they have so much stuff and they're constantly updating that I feel, I feel comfortable, um, you know, really just pouring myself into this empty vessel. And plus, 
damn, it looks, it looks good. Like, holy hell, this game looks good. This game looks amazing. It's, it's mind blowing. Um, constantly how much how great this game is and uh it's just it's fun you know it's just and as there's no sometimes you know there's no substitute for just certain games have it you know certain games have it and what what it is is a great question there's there's no you know real um real definition i don't think that there's any real definition like uh, straight across the board definition for um like all players together Warning, that said of remaining. i just love it like and it's weird too because i'm a huge water dog but the game that i did not get a kick out of whoa wow i am not used to swimming so slow um the game that was a big water game that i did not just didn't sit well with me was uh stranded deep I, um, for some reason, I just was not a huge fan of Stranded Deep. A lot of people, you know, sung its praises and stuff like that and told me how great it was. But honestly, I could have could have really cared less for that game. Um, so we could start our, um, our fortress right underneath our base like we did in the first one. But, uh, we're going to go ahead and, um start over in the kelp factory because or the kelp area because duke did that honestly um on his personal save and i thought god god dang looks beautiful like holy oh holy hell it looked beautiful um we're gonna make a few cured air sacks so that we have just some food while we're under the water since we have salt um we could uh there's a handful of places where we could start our like base but um okay first th next thing we want to do is our silicon rubber and then we're going to want to have to look and see what it takes to make our tool builder. Because honestly, it's been a while since I've made the tool builder. So, ooh, we can make our flashlight. So we need a computer chip, which is a silver, a silver, a quartz, and um, two uh, two tables things. So we do need a knife. Um, do we have enough to make another, another silicon? Good. And then, uh, let's see. So let's, hold on. One thing at a time. I'm getting distracted. We want our fins. And then we want our knife. Because the knife is the nicest, the best thing in the game. And then we want to go make our tool builder. Attention. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Sorry, I like to... Trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the Aurora's dark matter drive core due to damage sustained during collision. Continuing to monitor... Wow, we've almost we've almost already ran our um, our little base out of power. <laughs> That's amazing. So, uh, now that we have some fins... Um, we can, should I make one more air tank? You know what? I'm going to make one more air tank. Ooh, do not want to get rid of the knife. Um, we're going to make one more air tank so that, uh, let's see, we want the glass, not that. So that we can have some extra amount of oxygen. That way, uh, we have a better chance of, you know, surviving, um, deeper depths and stuff like that. Of course, we have the fins. Fins make a huge difference. So look at that, 135. So we have, we have two food. Um, we need silver. Let's see, what do we need again? Just to double check. To make our habitat builder, um, a titanium and a battery. So we need uh, silver and one silver, which shouldn't be too hard to get. Let's start with the silver. Silver will be the easy one. Um, we also need copper and quartz. So we're going to actually, we always need quartz. So as we're swimming over, we're going to um, break the uh, quartz as or grab quartz. Break sandstone, all that, sort of, all that sort of stuff, because we do want to get the scanner as well as um, as soon as possible. Um, we're gonna grab this little bugger because we can make a uh, a water out of him. Um, we do want to watch out for creepers or not creepers. Um, uh, goodness, I can't think of their names. Um, stalkers, I think they are, uh, because stalkers would be a bad thing at this moment. Yeah, see, there's one right there. Um, so we want to go ahead, skirt around them, and try and avoid them. Uh, we could make some. Some oh get out of here. We want to watch out for blood bugs as well. Okay, so there's one copper. That's one battery. Get out of here, you bastards. Okay. Um, let's see. There's a lot of those little blood bugs. We need one silver, but of course it is a is a dangerous game playing. You know, with those. Uh, come here, you Gary fish. We do need salt. Salt's salt's nice. With those stalkers, I'm curious if I could drop the. Uh, if I could equip the metal to my hotbar, that way if one of those stalkers comes after me, I could um, drop the metal so they go after the metal versus me, but I don't know if it's worth it. Okay, so let's um, let's go up to the surface real quick. I'll actually grab a few of these, why not? 
Okay, so we got one. We need one more so that we can make some health packs so that the stalkers don't kill us. Okay. We're almost halfway through our time, but I think, I mean, honestly, we're more than halfway there to uh, what I want to do, which is make the, which is make a base. That was my goal for the first episode. So, which I think is a real possibility of being able to make the base. I'd be super, super pumped. This is definitely me flexing my my muscle a little bit against, um, you know, uh, we don't need any more metal at the moment. Okay, we want to, that guy did see us. Okay, luckily he went for the metal. Oh, ah! Get out of here, you bastard. Get out of here. Okay, so... Is there another one? Um, here we go. There's another, uh, we just need, like, one silver, and we can get our, our habitat builder, which will help us immensely. Let's see, we can probably take one, two more bites from, uh, from a stalker before we're in a lot of trouble. Here comes another one. Ah, get out of here! Get out of here! Okay, the trick is to, to ah, get out of here! The trick is to, you know, cut them before they, uh, they manage to... Um, bite us. Okay, so let's, let's grab a copper. Let's see. Come on, we just need one silver, and then we can. God, this blood bugs are being a pain in the butt. I've usually they're not that this big of a problem, but boy, are they just all over the flipping place right now. Okay, titanium. Um, let's keep our ah. Hey, get out of here, you bastard! Get out of here, you limey, limey bugger! Okay, come on. We need we need a silver. I know they're around here somewhere. Um, honestly, we should probably build a uh, um, what do you call it? A little. Oh, is that a? Is that what we're looking for? Could this be that we are free at last? Nope, it's limestone again. But that's a it's a battery, so it's not totally bad. Oh, here we go. There's got to be one in here, right? A little titanium. Silver! Aha! Look at that! Okay, now we just need to get to the surface before we drown or get eaten by a... Uh, oh, boy. It's gonna be a close one. Get out of here! Yeah! Beat it! Okay, we got this. And we are out! We are in the clear! Woo! Assuming that one of them doesn't come up and bite me from the bottom of the ocean. Uh, which is a very huge possibility. So, we have, a uh, Um... Part of the um, equation. So next thing we need is oh, I thought I heard one roaring at me. Some table coral. Okay, so we got two of those, and then some quartz. That's enough for a computer chip. Oh, look at there's one right there. <laughs> so I'm like swimming towards him. Okay, let's uh, let's get out of the, the limey bugger's way. And ah, good. We really should get a. I forgot how useful the um, the little flotation device was. Um, it, uh, it really pulls you up to the surface quickly when you're, um, so, like, if we need to escape from one of those guys. So we'll grab a couple of air bladders just to, uh, be safe, as well as you can make water from those guys, so that's super useful. All right, let's, uh, go ahead and swim back. Oh, my goodness, I feel so slow. <laughs> uh, playing with, um, you know, all my tricked-out gear and stuff like that, it really is a little bit of a humbling effect. Let's see. That's, that'll be enough to make a health pack so that I can heal myself. Um... Let's see if we see any salt on the bottom as well. We want to grab that. Uh, salt, of course, is useful for. Um, oh, inventory's full. Let's drop a titanium and grab a copper. Good. Okay, let's head back to the um, the base before we discover any other things that we need to grab, but don't want to grab because we have a full inventory. Wow. When I was saying that, I thought I thought we could um, we could make it all or make a like a full on base in the first episode. I was. I was being hopeful, but, um, I, it's, it's a real possibility at this moment. Um, okay, so we got our computer chip. What do we need to make our, uh, our tool? Okay, Habitat Builder, we need a battery as well. Um, there's our battery. And then, tools, look at that! Habitat Builder, holy heck! Crazy! Okay, so I think we need a few more acid, and then we can build actually the the analyzer. But um, as of right now, we could actually start building uh, a base. So let's see, let's restore two of those. Um, oh yeah, let's make some. Let's see, we got some creeper vines. We have some, uh, two salt, two of these, and so we can we have enough to make two health packs. Wow, that's uh that's pretty quick that you can off that when you when you really know what you're doing in this game. Like you can uh you can start rolling pretty quickly. It's pretty impressive. Okay, um, and then equipment. Look at that. One, two. So these heal like 40 health. So we're gonna wanna, um, 
We're gonna want to hold off using these. Let's see. We have two air sacs. Let's make two waters. Um, let's see. Resources. Uh, food. One. And these, I believe, give you twenty water. I think. Um, let me go ahead and check. Yeah, these give you twenty water. So we'll drink one of those. We have the common coral, the table coral. Let's uh, let's store some of this stuff. Honestly, we might want to build a just one more locker in here so we can store more stuff although let me go ahead and look at the blueprints what does it take to make let's see a foundation is four titanium uh so we will want to do four titanium uh or so we'll want to do four foundations for a good base and then what's a, a room takes two so that's four twelve uh a hatch is a f or four times four is sixteen. Pardon me. Um, a hatch, so that's eighteen titanium. One glass, and then a room is six. So we need to have twenty-four titanium and one glass to build our basic house. Let's see how much we have on us. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Uh. 1920 so we actually we have enough to uh um build so we need like one more tight one more titanium piece and then we can uh go ahead and actually start building our base wow that's uh that's crazy to think um that uh you know we're just gonna be building our home in the first uh Push. round right the aurora is gonna explode cool. it's weird it's been so long since the aurora exploded on mine calculating risk assessment death by malnourishment seven percent by physical injury, 11%. By exposure to radioactive crash site materials, 19%. If the drive core is breached, probability of death increases to 65%. So now, if I think about it, um, I think possibly building over in that one kelp forest that we are looking through is bad, because I think that that's the, the kelp forest that gets irradiated. So let's actually take a peek from the top of our escape pod. Um, yeah, so that forest is going to be all irradiated and impossible to access here in a couple, in a little bit. So I think we head in this direction. Um, there should be a second kelp forest. Let me check. Um, how many titanium do you have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Um, let's see. 6, uh, 16. So that's enough for our base. 1, 2. That's uh, enough for our hatch. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is enough for our home. Um, and we should have... We want two quarts for a glass. Um... So, we'll make a glass, and then let's check with our habitat builder, or let's check with the blueprint real quick, and see what it takes to make a, um, what do you call it, uh, replicator. So, two more titanium. I think we might be just a touch short. Um, yeah, so let's go. Oh, wow, we are really, we're going to have just the, just the right amount of space in our inventory. Let's drink this, um, let's cook the Gary fish, and... Then we will go grab one more, um, one more titanium, one more or one more scrap that we can fabricate into titanium, and then we'll go build our base. It's crazy to think that we're already doing this. Like that's uh, since it took us like forever when I was playing with Duke. But then again, I uh, just know what just know what you're doing. You know, it's uh, once you once you get you know good at something, um, you're good at it. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. I was gonna, I was gonna have some profound revelation that everybody's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, that's good guy Mike's right with that." That, and I was just like, I, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. To be fair, I never know what the hell I'm saying. So uh, there's, there's that. Oh my goodness, I am so bloody slow. It is ridiculous. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Good deal. Make our, make that into. Another titanium. Good deal. All right, let's go in the water. Of course, the one thing is that we weren't aren't actually going to have um, enough titanium t or enough stuff to power it, but uh, we can get some quartz and some more titanium. Although we should have we'll have two more titanium. So yeah, it's it's titanium and quartz. So let's see. Is this the where do we want to build, guys? This is the big question. That is the the million dollar question, ain't it? 
boy, this I am just so ruddy slow compared to uh to what I am used to. Okay, so we definitely want to go in that direction. Um, let's go this way. We want to go away from the um the explosion. That way we don't build a whole base and then have it be irradiated and have to abandon it and build again. Okay, let's see. Um, we gotta go this way. This should get deep here in a second, right? If I remember the 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 map correctly, which I mean, there's no chance. Oh, I'm going slow because I'm so heavy because I have so much stuff on me. Is why I'm I'm moving so slow at the moment. I'll speed up once I uh. Once, what do you call it? Once I actually uh, build my base, we actually oh boy, we may not make this uh, this base in our first. Oh, there's a the kelp. Um, that's where we want to build. We want to build in the kelp forest, which is funny because the kelp forest is, of course, where all the stalkers are. Um, but uh, you know, that's a uh, it's a risk that we gotta be willing to take. It'll be it'll be cool. It'll look nice. Um, it'll be challenging, but uh, I like a little bit of challenge in what I do. So there is that. Um, is that just a lone, just one lone seaweed? It might be. No, okay, it is a, it is a full spot. Plus, look at there's um, a stalker right there. Good. That's just what we wanted. <laughs> Into the shark's den, is what uh, what good guy Mike always says. Oh, so uh, that's actually that is my uh, my time for this episode. So uh, next episode, for sure, we are going to uh, to build our base. Hopefully not get eaten by a stalker, because if we get eaten by a stalker with all this stuff in my inventory, I'm going to flip my lid. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. Uh, if you didn't enjoy it, uh, leave a dislike. All that stuff helps me out so that I know what you guys do and do not want to see. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. You guys, keep your eyes, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy. Bye!